everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day seven of the holiday card series for 2016. I'm going to be using the Comfort and Joy stamp set from Avriel today. And the large Tidings of Comfort and Joy stamp was the inspiration for this card design. I'm going to use that as if I had already, like I had drawn it or written it myself. And then I'm going to paint some leaves and berries and flowers around the outside of that greeting. I'm using some licorice twist cardstock from Basil, and I've cut that to four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then placed that in a mini stamping tool. I prepped the cardstock with a powder tool. This is an anti static powder tool because I'm going to do some heat embossing. I'm applying some Versamark ink onto the stamp, and then I'll go ahead and swing that down onto the black cardstock. And I actually stamped this twice without removing the cardstock from the Misty tool. I did it this way because I really wanted to make sure there was lots of Versamark there that would give me a nice, solid heat embossed image. So I'm going to sprinkle on some Hero Arts white embossing powder. Make sure I get all of those areas all over that entire large greeting. And then I'll use my heat tool to heat set this until it's smooth and melted. And because this is a really large stamp area, it did warp the cardstock just a tiny bit. So even though I wasn't planning to tape this piece of cardstock down to a hard board, I did it anyway so that it would stay flat while I was doing the rest of my painting. So I just taped that down with a little bit of blue painter's tape. So the different like branches and leaves and berries I'm going to be painting today are really simple. I thought I would show you guys the different elements I'm going to use using a pencil and a piece of scratch paper. So I have a really simple sort of like pine needle leaf. I'll do three little berries or some separate berries as well. I'll also do a tiny uh, branch with berries and kind of like the traditional Christmas leaf, a little holly leaf. And I'm just going to be kind of penciling these on first and then I will paint over the top. So I'm going to do one more little branch of leaves and these have kind of more rounded leaves on them. They don't have to be leaves that you would find in nature per se, but just really kind of illustrative leaves. So now I'm taking a pencil and very lightly drawing on all of these different leaf and stem and branch shapes. And I'm making sure that it sort of nestles around that greeting that I've already stamped. These are some really simple shapes. I think most anyone could draw these little shapes on here. In fact, if they're even more hand-drawn than this, I think it gives it a lot of character. You just wanna make sure that the areas are kind of filled in and kind of almost create a wreath shape around the greeting area. I originally wanted to make this more of a wreath, but then I realized that I just kind of liked all the different elements just crowded up right next to the words. I thought it looked really fun. So I'm penciling all of these in, making sure I fill out all of those areas. And then I'm going to do some painting. So I'm going to switch over to a paintbrush and I'm going to mix some color, not mix colors, but just pick some colors out from a palette. In fact, I'm using this Pearl, Pearl Palette from Fine Tech, and I'm going to use two different colors. There's a red, a metallic red shade, and a metallic green, and I'm going to start with the red shade and paint on all of the berries, and then I'll eventually bring in that green shade and paint all of those in as well.
I'm going to add a little bit of white and I thought about using like a white gouache paint for this but then realized it would be just as easy and simple to use a white gel pen. So I'm using a jelly roll pen and I'm drawing on some white stems for those berry leaves and then also adding a little bit of detail onto the larger green leaves. I then trimmed up this piece and just took a little bit of uh, space off each edge so that it would be slightly smaller than a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. I wanted to have kind of like a white border around the outside edge of this black piece and to do that I had to cut off a little bit off the sides. So I'm adding in some little white dots just to fill out some of those areas just to make sure it's all filled in. And then I went through with an eraser. This is a Tombow um, mechanical eraser. I'll have a link to it down in the supply section in the video description below. And um, just erase all those pencil lines. My card base is made out of some Nina Solar White cardstock in the 110 pound version. And I've squared that at four and a quarter to create a square card. And then adhered this piece down onto the card. So you can see as the card is tipped in light, you can see the metallic shimmer of all of those paints. It's a really subtle way to add a little bit of shine to your cards, and I think it's really pretty. So that is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back on Monday with day eight.